Hey guys, it's Shannon from Get Fed. Um, so pleased to be with you. I'm just going to go over a little uh, free will talk about, you know, um, I, I sometimes I debate um, atheists sometimes. It's just um, I was uh, I was probably supposed to be a lawyer in another time or something. I don't know. But I have the um, me. I, I oppose unrighteousness and everything or you know try to in most situations and things like that I mean I really do have a problem with people just um bad mouthing the word of God before they have even tried it out for themselves but that's neither here nor there I'm just going to break off into prayer first dear Heavenly Father we thank you for um keeping us sheltering us we ask that you give us a heart for you eyes for you um, mine for you. Uh, we ask for your constant will and preparation for our lives to be fulfilled. Lord, we ask for understanding. We ask for wisdom. We ask for courage. We ask for uh, good knowledge, Lord, and everything um, beautiful and wonderful that you have prepared for us. In Jesus' name. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so... There's nothing really here about any <laughs> um, Bible or anything, but we're just going to do a quick talk about free will because the Lord, um, he, you know, sometimes um, he comes to me and he tells me um, some things about the world and he really gives me revelation and stuff. I'm not saying that I'm special or anything. You guys, all, everyone has the, the free gift of prophecy. Go ahead and research that all you want um, and things like that. Uh, and I'm not saying I'm special, but I'm saying that when the Lord comes to me, sometimes um, it's happy and sometimes it's uh, correcting. And sometimes it's just like he really drops some real knowledge on me. Like, you know, um, he had to tell me, like, you know, I kind of, he, he's so, we think that he's like a, like a, what is it, a kid with a magnifying glass or something. We think that God is like this all old dude in the sky or something. God is so not old. And it really breaks his heart when people don't understand uh, the things that are going on. Like it breaks my heart that people don't understand. People are going around thinking that God is punishing them. No, God is not punishing you. Um, if you get pregnant out of wedlock or some, you know, those things really have to do with you. But like I said before in many videos that your permissive will has a lot. I mean, uh, the, you know, God allows things to happen, of course, um, regardless whether or not, you know, he really wants them to happen like he does not want bad things to happen to you but if you keep opening yourself up to bad spaces bad people and things then you know he just lets it ride he lets it ride um and he protects you where you know you listen and you need the protection when you need it but free will basically you have to ask yourself this question um would did God create free will in mind when he made the world and um when he made uh people and he did he wanted a creation to free willingly love him for him just like so many people are trying to get well not so many people anymore not like in my region or my hemisphere no I don't see and I know there's people out there who have great and amazing relationships I I um see would see them some of them have moved away from me and I'm like what is this is this is like the area of California what is this where people don't you know um seek love anymore and that's just because they haven't seen it it's the whole orphan spirit running around rapid like a crazy banshee but um God, when he created free will, he knew that there was going to be some muck ups and he knew there was going to be some try. Um, I was just winning a debate the other day with an atheist. I think I'm trying to save a few souls, <laughs> although I'm a little quick with the mouth. I don't know if y'all check some of my comments, but I'm a little quick with the mouth. The Lord is still working with me on my patience and everything. 
I'm sorry. It was just the, um, God, if it's not one thing, it's the other. Um, yes, but what I was saying about free will is that we all want people to free willingly love us. And I'm just trying to get you to kind of understand God's heart a little bit about the whole free willing thing that, um, God knew that there was going to, with free will and with the laws and things he put in place for free will, you know, like the, the angels can't mess with your free will. The demons can't even mess with your free will. You know, there's, there's certain laws and things. If you go over, go to witch or something, they say, well, we can't bring anyone back from the dead or anything like that. Those are laws and little hints of laws, um, that God has. And so, I just had an atheist friend, I call him, I still call him friend, ask me, you know, well, why would um, God allow bad things to happen? It just goes back to um, free will. You can't have free will without somebody free willingly choosing to want to kill, somebody free willingly choosing to uh, do whatever they want that's not good and that's not righteous. So God um, wants people to understand that, uh, that this this trial run this matrix if you will is all for his glory and all to uh refine us and this is what he was putting on my heart was like this is the trial run adam and eve wanted to know what it was gonna be like you know to try and be as gods they didn't b believe what god said but they believed what the serpent said and so this is this is the result of sin if we were perfect beings like Adam and Eve once upon a time before sin, this should only give you like a picture <laughs> of like, it's like if only Adam knew that all of this would happen when he ate the apple um, and when Eve ate the apple, I bet, or the quince, I believe that, um, you know, it would have been a different story if we could have got like a, like a, a fast forward, but you know, it's, it's all trial and error. It's all through the bloodline and it's all for um, God's glory. So this way that he could have a creation, love him for, love him for who he is and um, truly love him and worship him. Because that's all that matters at the end of the day is did you know God on this plane of existence? Did you love him on earth? Did you do what you can to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling? Did you have hope? Did you love people as God would love them, but not as themselves? I might have to do a video on translations. I just want to thank, oh, guys, I'm still buying books. Don't worry. Uh, C.L. Lewis, I'm still buying your book. A uh, few other authors and friends, I'm still buying more of your books. Don't worry. And, um... I'm getting kind of low on membership. I'm like, I had did so many memberships in ministry schools. I have more to take. So don't fret. I'm like there. I can't wait to like uh, firsthand meet some of you and more than just like emails and Zooms and stuff. But um, I'm really excited about that. But yeah, God just wanted people to free willingly love him. And this is just the crash course. And that should just teach you what we can learn from the Genesis story pretty much is about um, the disconnect from God that Adam and Eve did when they had sin. And then the reconnection that we have been trying to do our entire um, existence after Adam and Eve. We've been trying to reconnect back to the creator. So that's what we can learn from that. But yeah, that's pretty much, uh, you know, free will. Uh, you know, it's even said, what does it say in... Uh, Genesis as well that God regretted made, making man because of all the evil that they that we have done and things like that. So that should just show you. Um, that's why I love the Bible because it's truly um, God's character. Like if you read it and you can understand the stories and the gist of the situation, you could see that God just not does not punish people. We punish ourselves and then blame God later. And, um, you know, that's not really good. We need to really self-examine ourselves. I'm not saying bad, anything bad about ourselves. It's plenty of people who go through life and, um, we're examining ourselves. We're doing what we're doing. We're living righteous lives and things, but, um, you know, this is really for people who are having, you know, um, a little harder time than usual. God loves you and God is always on your side. So
Um, yeah, but I think that's pretty much it. That's, you know, this is, that's the little free will talk, but God just wants you to know that, um, you know, there's, there's not no reason for why he's doing everything. There's a reason. And it's at the end of it, it is so that a creation that has the free will to love, which we do, um, will love him free willingly. So there you have it. But I love you guys. Thank you so much. And um, good night. And um, I'll be talking to you folks later. Bye.